it's your girl Brain Shanae and today I have an announcement and that is that there's going to be a Zora Neale Hurston read along that'll be happening this year and that'll be starting February of this year and of course my fellow co-hosts will be Brie Shere Reads. Um, as you all know or as all, some of you already know that Brie and I had done the Brandy Sanderson read along last year and we had such a great <laughs> and fun time especially interacting with all of our followers, subscribers, people that have been with us since the very beginning. So I do really appreciate you all for, you know, participating in the read-along. So me and Brie, we were talking, we were like, we want to do another read-along this year. And we were thinking, pondering, wondering, okay, what is something else that we want to read together for an entire year, another entire year together? Um, and so we finally came up with one and we decided to go with Zora Neale Hurston. We want to read all her works and pretty much when we say all her works we mean all the works are in this box set. Now mind you please 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 do not feel obligated to get this box set. You can still get this books in get all these books individually and so yeah so no pressure once again do not feel obligated to get this box set me like Brie and I we wanted to get this box set because we just love how it looks um you know everything Zora Neale Hurston we just wanted the box set because it's just so pretty and beautiful and colorful and literally we're like oh okay the box set we'll just read all the books that are in this box set so literally starting February is when we start this read along so like I said, the read-along is officially going to be starting in February. So if you want, you can go ahead and get your books now, or you can just get the books, you know, monthly, you know, whatever works for you. Or better yet, if you can find it on Audible, Hoopla, Libby, whatever you have access to, go ahead and do so. Because that's another thing why we chose this particular read-along um, and this particular author that we wanted to read this year because her books I feel have the ability to be ability to being accessible to everyone um and that's what we really want to make sure is that uh, all these books were accessible that way you know you do not have to get the box that you can get them individually or you can literally go on Libby Hoopla your library whatever it may be please do not break your pockets please do not do that um but anyway so starting in February the first book we're going to be reading is Mule Bone which is right here. This is the first book we're going to be reading. Uh, I really don't know much about this book. I just really want to read it. But let's see what it says. It says, Mule remains an incomparable contribution to Black theater and the sole collaboration between two iconic figures of the Harlem Renaissance, Zora Neale Hurston and Langston Hughes, set in Hurston's hometown of Eatonville, Florida. This uproarious Aurorius play centers on song and dance team Jim and Dave and Daisy, the woman who 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 comes between the two. Enraged and jealous, Jim hits Dave with the mule bone. This act divides the town into two factions, the Methodists who wish to grant Jim clemency and the Baptists who seek to exile him for his crime. Mule bone was performed in 1991 at New York, New York's Lincoln Center Theater. So, like I said, this is going to be the first book that we're going to be reading in February. Also, I'll leave the schedule down below um, in the description. That way, it will always be there. You have access to that. And also, Brie will have in her will have it in her description as well. Um, so, always, you know, so make sure you subscribe to us. That way, you keep track of everything uh, and what we're reading you know, each month, just so that you have that schedule or, you know, take a screenshot of the schedule. We'll also have it posted on our um, IG accounts as well. That way you still have access to the schedule. So like I said, Mule Bone is going to be the first book that we'll be reading, which is in the, the month of February. And then in March, we're going to be reading Jonah's Gourd Vine, which I love this cover so, so much. Like I loved mule bone like all these covers are just gorgeous and beautiful um but this is the the second book that we're going to be reading which I, like i said is going to be we're going to be reading this in march in particular and so for this one it says and by the way before i even get carried away we chose this particular order based off of the year of publication just to give y'all a heads up of why we chose this order there's not really an order but we wanted to do do it in order from her earliest works on down so yeah so this is this order is based on the publication year so for this book it says the reverend john buddy pearson uh loves too many women for his own good lucy his long-suffering wife is his true love but there's also Mac 
Mahali, Big Omen, as well as the scheming Hattie who conjures hoodoo spells to ensure his attentions. Um, even after becoming the popular pastor of Zion Hope, where his sermons and prayers for cleansing roused the congregation's fervor, John has to confess that though he is a preacher on Sundays, he is a natural man the rest of the week. And so in this portrait of a man and his community, Zora Neale Hurston shows in this debut novel that faith, tolerance and good intentions cannot resolve the tension between the spiritual and the physical that she makes this age-old dilemma come to a lot or excuse me come so alive is a tribute to her understanding of the vagaries of human nature so wow this just sounds really good like i'm just now like i don't know what all these books are about and so just knowing what these are about i'm i'm really intrigued so yes this is what we're going to be reading in march once again this is jonas gourd vine so this is what we're going to be reading in march the next book is going to be the book that we read for april and that is mules and men and this all these covers are so stunning and even the back of the books are just beautiful so for this one, it says, Mules and Men is a treasury of Black America's folklore as, as collected by a famous storyteller and anthropologist who grew up hearing the songs and sermons, sayings and tall tales that have formed an oral history of the South since the time Africans were enslaved. Returning to her hometown of Eatonville, Florida to gather material, Zora Neale Hurston recalls a hilarious night with a pinch of everything social mixed with the storytelling. Set intimately within the Black community, the stories, big old lies, songs, voodoo customs and superstitions recorded in these pages preserve and celebrate a unique culture cultural heritage so yes i'm really looking forward to this like i said this is going to be the book that we read in april so definitely stay tuned for that now in may not only not only are we going to read the book we're, but we're actually going to have a watch party because this particular book has an adaptation so of course i think y'all already know what it is but it's going to be their eyes were watching god and i've read this plenty of times when I was in high school when I was able to get my summer reading with my AP English class they they didn't really have a lot of black literature listed and so every time I saw this this was my go-to because this I just I love this book in all of its entirety like I loved every single word on this book because it has it has so many different lessons and so many different things that you can you can learn from about life and love and how to live how to live and you know just I, I enjoyed it. So like I said, not only we're going to be reading this book, but we're also going to be having a watch party. Um, so it's going to be a fun time. And not only we'll be discussing, you know, we'll be having discussions closer like um, to the beginning of each month. So the first week of each month, we're going to be talking about that book the previous month. So we're going to be talking, we're going to be discussing this book, but also with the live discussion for this particular book, we're going to pretty much compare and contrast between not uh, between the book and the movie and just have a full blown good time just talking about it. And you know, sharing our thoughts and stuff like that. So for this one, I think this is, I feel like some people have already read it. But anyways, let me just say what it's about. So it says, um, Zora Neale Hurston's beloved 1937 classic is an enduring southern love story sparkling with wit, beauty, and heartfelt wisdom. It is told in the captivating voice of the fiercely in independent and stunningly attractive Janie Crawford, who refuses to live in sorrow, bitterness, fear, or foolish romantic dreams. As she endured three marriages and a life marked by trials and tribulations, she evolves into an unforgettable heroine. A true literary wonder, Hurston's master work remains as relevant and affecting today as when when it was first published perhaps one of the most widely read and highly regarded novels in the entire literary canon oh, this just sounds so good even from the saturday review it says their eyes were watching god belongs in the same category with the works of william faulkner f scott uh, fitzgerald and ernest hemingway that of enduring american literature so yes like i said i'm really <laughs> i'm really looking forward to reading this it was always my go-to in high school when I saw it on my list. I'm really excited to read this in May. It's just going to be a fun time and a good discussion. And also, by the way, if you want to join in our live discussions, please let us know and we will definitely send you the link. We will be happy to have you and to share your thoughts about it and your experiences and your perspective about certain things. Because that's what I love about live discussions because yes, you're reading, but you may comprehend something completely different than somebody else has. And that's the beauty of reading 
reading there you can comprehend some a lot of people comprehend things differently and when we bring our thoughts together and we are open to people's um perspectives and mindset on things i find that very fascinating and amazing so yes cannot wait to read this so this will be the book that we'll be reading in may now we're stepping into june so what we'll be reading in june is moses man of the mountain and don't you just love this cover and also you i could tell this is definitely going to be who who knows it might be a hard read for me just just looking at um the cover itself but who knows i'm just judging <laughs> judging a book by its cover but who knows so anyways let's see what this one is about and like i said this book is going to be read during the month of june and so for this one it says zora Neale hurston the master storyteller takes the renowned figure of the Old Testament and blends him with the Moses of Black folklore in a powerful parable of faith, authority, and redemption. Moses' story begins on the Nile and follows his journey as a conjurer, leader, and ultimately an, ab an abolitionist freeing fellow citizens and confronting the Pharaoh of lore. Moses' story is told with wit, passion, and river, continual call marks of Hurston's writing. So yes, this is what we're going to be reading in June. This is definitely going to be a good read. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. So I'm really excited for this one. So like I said, this is going to be a book that we read in June. And then, of course, July, we are going to be reading Tell My Horse. It says Voodoo and Life in Haiti and Jamaica. So this is what we're going to be reading is this right here. And this, this cover is very captivating, I will say. And let's look at the back right here. Isn't that amazing? I love it. So for this one, it says, eccentric acclaimed author Zora Neale Hurston set out for Haiti and Jamaica in the 1930s to experience the practice of voodoo. Tell My Horse is her fascinating personal account of this engrossing culture. Daring Lee, she participated as initiate in the rituals of voodoo. She vividly delivers an authentic portrait of the dark, mystical world, including life-altering ceremonies, customs, and superstitions. The journey she shares and the tales she weaves are riveting and spellbinding. So, yes, I'm going to be reading this in July, and I'm excited. I'm just excited just to read all these books. This is going to be a fun time. The next book, which we're going to be reading in August, is Dust Tracks on a Road, and this is a memoir. And don't you just love this? Oh my god, I'm going to keep talking about these covers because they're so beautiful. And then here is the back. And so for this one, it says, at the height of her popularity came Dust Tracks on a Road. Uh, Zora Neale Hurston's candid, funny, bold, and pugnant memoir, which is an imaginative and exuberant account of her rise from a humble childhood and the Royal South to her place as a prominent artist and intellectual of the Harlem Renaissance. As compelling as her acclaimed fiction, Hurston's very personal literary self-portrait offers a revealing, often audacious glimpse into the life, public and private, of an extraordinary writer. Full of the wit and wisdom of a proud, spirited woman who started off low and climbed high, Dust Tracks on a Road is a rare treasure from one of literature's most cherished voices. Oh my god. So yep, I'm definitely looking forward to reading this so much. Oh my god. I, I love this cover. I love all the covers and literally as I'm doing this announcement like I'm now like going into the box set that I have and looking at all these amazing covers so I'm surprised at the same time and just amazed um so yeah this is the book that we'll be reading in August now for September we're going to be reading Seraph on the Suwanee this is the cover and then this is the back of the book and so for this one it says Seraph on the Suwanee is a daring turn of the century novel about two people at once deeply in love and deeply at odds convinced she'll never find true love young or very henson deflects deflects unwanted suitors through fits and professions of religious fervor but when the enterprising jim reserve sets his sights on her nothing can dissuade him from believing they are soulmates not even arve hurston definitely explores the evolution of a marriage full of love and a woman in search of her of her place in the world so like i said this book is going to be read in september and then in october we're going to be reading the complete stories this is all the complete stories right here so and just look at the back look at that so for this one it says this first collection of zorno herson's short fiction most of which appeared only in literary magazines during her lifetime and some of which have never before been published shows the evolution of one of the most important writers of our time the complete stories include an array of narratives like the gilded six bit bits of a loving couple almost torn asunder 
Hurricane, where readers are introduced to the formidable couple of Janie and Tea Cake from Their Eyes Are Watching God, and one of Hurston's signature stories, Spunk, a tale of two men fighting over one woman, only to be thwarted by their own egos. Spanning her career from 1921 to 1955, these stories attest to Hurston's tremendous range and, and are an invaluable reflection of her imagination and talent as a storyteller. So, I'm excited for this. And I didn't know about the stories when it came about their eyes watching God, uh, especially about tea cake and stuff like with Janie. Like I read the book, but I didn't know there was like a short story within it. So I'm excited. But all these stories within this in this complete, complete book right here, it sounds amazing. So we're going to be reading this in October. And finally, in November, this is going to be the final book that we read for the read along. And that is going to be Every Tongue Got to Confess. It says Negro Folk Tales from the Gulf States. And this is the book right here. And this is what it looks like on the very back. And it says for this one, Every Tongue Got to Confess is a stunning work of nearly 500 African American folk tales that Zora Neale Hurston collected in the 1920s during her travels through the Gulf States. Written with Hurston's trademark, trademark wit and keen insight, this remarkable collection contains tales of God, the devil, preachers, and tricksters alike in stories that range from the hilarious to the bittersweet and pay tribute to the vibrant experience of the rural South. So yes, this is the final book that we're going to be reading. Like I said, this is going to be happening in November. So I'm really looking forward for this book as well. So that is the rundown for the read along for Zorno Hurston. Brie and I, we are so excited to be doing this read along. I really hope that you join us because I have a feeling it's just going to be a fun and amazing time. Like I said, I haven't read all of Zora's works. I only read their eyes are watching God and I'm really amazed <laughs> with just having description of these books and what they are about. I'm amazed and excited and I feel like it's just like I said it's gonna be a fun time and just hearing her like even though she is not with us I feel like she's with us within her books and just reading her works and her experiences especially during the Harlem Renaissance which is one of my favorite times in history. Um, <laughs> I'm just really really excited for this but like I said I really hope that you join us. It's just going to be a fun time. And like I said, I'll leave the schedule down below in the description. So like I said, just come out and like join us. It's going to be a fun time. And if like I said, if you want to join us in the live discussions, please let Brie and I know and we will send you the link. We are excited. We want people to join us. We want to have a fun time. We want to hear your thoughts. We just want to hear your different perspectives about these, all of these wonderful works right here by Zora Neale Hurston. So this readathon starts in February. So I really hope that you join us and I look forward to seeing you all and hearing all your thoughts and perspectives as we begin this amazing read along in February. So I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see y'all soon. See ya.